guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island the Game, Double Trouble. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, become a bestie, all that good stuff. Remember, journey to 1K. Journey to 1K. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. Everything will be linked down in the description. All the playlists, everything. I know Too Hot to Handle is going on. You guys haven't really responded to it or asked me about it, so I guess I'm not really gonna be bothered by it or think about it too much, but I definitely do wanna finish season one and get on season two, but I definitely wanna finish Love Island first. So yeah, anyways, previously on episode 31, we met Toby, the new boy. He's all right looking. Like I said in my last video, he kind of gives me Jacob vibes. I couldn't get his name, but you know, after I was editing and I looked it up, it was Jacob. He was giving me kind of Jacob vibes, not in terms of big, but I don't know. He just kind of, when I seen him, Jacob came to my head. So anyways, um, we did a speed dating thing where we all got to speed date with him and we got to know him and talk to him and whatnot, whatnot. He's feeling Amelia. Amelia's feeling him. It looks like his eyes is going to be set on Amelia. So, yeah, I don't really care. I'm not interested. Then we got a text talking about Snog Mary Pie. So that's where we left off. I'm excited to do this challenge. So let's just jump straight on into it. Love Out in the Game, Double Trouble, episode 32. Let's go. All right. Episode 32, Snog Mary Pie. Play Snog Mary Pie. Who will you want to marry? Welcome back to Love Island. It's that time of the summer again. Snog Mary Pie is back. All you need to take part is some sugary sweetness, the eggs from your crush's basket, and a knob of buttery vengeance. Pucker your lips and preheat the oven. It's about to get hot in here. You and the other girls are preparing for Snog Mary Pie. Is there any point getting dressed up just to get covered in cream? Well, fingers crossed, I get more snogs than pies. There's always a reason to look good. Exactly. Even if you are getting pied into next week. I'm not even thinking about being pied. I might chuck a few of my own, though. Oh, yeah, in whose direction? That would be telling. Are you excited for this challenge, Erica? I can't wait for some creamy fun. You kidding? Of course I am. I can't wait to see those pies get flung about. This is going to be so much fun. Erica, I want to ask you something. What is it? Amelia pulls you over to one side of the bedroom. I'm having some more doubts about Marshall. More doubts? The more I get to know him, the more his red flags are bugging me. Really? Like what? He just never seems to have time for me. He's always with the guys or chatting to the other girls. It doesn't feel like we are a team. Just seems like we have drifted apart. I'm thinking that maybe he's the wrong choice for me. And the right choice is somebody else. Anybody in particular? Amelia appears a little bashful for a moment. Toby. Toby, he's turned your head already? Yeah, he has. I think I was turned away from Marshall anyway. So maybe Toby has arrived at the perfect time for me. I'm gonna say you shouldn't rush into this. She shouldn't. I feel like she is. No matter what you decide, don't rush into it. You don't want to fall head over heels for the wrong guy. Yeah, good advice, Erica. I'll keep it chill for now. Amelia can't hide her smile any longer. He's just so perfect, though. On our date, he told me that he wanted to help the Islanders. Help? In what way? He said that he wants to help Ozzy and Marshall settle their differences so that the whole villa can relax a little more. Maybe Marshall's beef with Ozzy is bringing out the worst in him and making him act differently to the real Marshall. I think Toby might be onto something. And I was thinking that maybe during the game, we could help out too. Ow. I haven't worked the details out yet, but I'll think of something. So, wanna help me build a bridge between Ozzy and Marshall? Yeah, I'll help you. I'd love to help you get Ozzy and Marshall back on good terms. The two of us working together sounds great. Erica and Amelia taking care of business. Sisters get it done. What are you two whispering about over there? Yeah, you two are looking suspicious. I bet they're trying to decide which of us islanders to kiss. 
I think I know who I'm kissing. Yeah, but does Erica? Let's save it, girls. Don't want to ruin any surprises. I have a feeling there might be a few of those. Ozzy pops his head around the bedroom door. Grace, can I pull you for a chat? What kind of chat? Grace, please. Fine, let's go. I can't tell if that's heading to a makeup or a breakup. I just hope that everyone can get along for the rest of the summer. Will you still be saying that after you get a pie to the face? Do you know something I don't? Just that I might pick you for one of the options, not saying which. Flo and Bella laugh. Well, whatever Grace and Ozzy are chatting about, they better make it quick. Yeah, let's get down there, girls. You, Amelia, Flo, and Bella excitedly run out of the bedroom. You arrive at the challenge stage with the rest of the girls. The boys are waiting for you. What kept you girls? We're eager to get started. Been waiting for you, Amelia. I'm here now. Let's get started. I can't wait. Time to get stuck in. Bring it on. Where are Grace and Ozzy? You hear footsteps jogging towards the challenge stage. Sorry guys, got a bit caught up. Yeah, just had a few things to discuss. Sounds juicy. Come on guys, there's snobs on offer here. So, who's going first? Me. Amelia looks around at the other islanders. Well, well, what to do? Amelia struts up to Roberto. Here we go. To his surprise, Amelia only gives him a gentle peck on his cheek. I think our time has well and truly passed. Fair point. Next, Amelia walks over to Toby. I know you've only just got here, but I've got a really good feeling about you, Toby. You seem like perfect marriage material. Marshall looks a little disappointed. I think you could be right about that, Amelia. Amelia kneels down in front of Toby and slides a ring onto his finger. She stands up and gives him a hug. That was beautiful, don't you think, Erica? That was so cute. They look like an old married couple already. I'd expect an all day invite to the wedding, of course. And now, she picks up a pie. Who gets their just desserts? She walks in front of the boys. Only one boy deserves this. She slaps the pie into Marshall's shocked face. Things haven't been perfect between us, but just still fun to be around. And this just made me laugh. Glad I could entertain you, Amelia. I'm feeling like going next. Jamar happily jogs up and down in front of the other islanders. He stops at Flo. Oh, hello there. Flo, you're awesome and you're a great addition to the villa. He kisses her respectfully on the cheek. Not quite a snog, but it'll do. Now, more importantly, he walks towards you and gets down on one knee. Erica, in the time that I've known you, I felt so good. Meeting you has been such a great experience. From day one right up to now. There's nobody else that has my heart. So, will you make me even happier than I already am? Of course I will. Absolutely. I couldn't ask for anybody better than you. Perfect. He slips the ring onto your finger and gently holds your hand in his. It means so much that you think that, Erica. He stares longingly into your eyes. Anyway, it's time I pied somebody. He looks around at the islanders. Sorry, Oz, but Erica only needs one man's full attention. He pushes the pie into Ozzy's face. Message received. Finally, I get my turn. Bella looks around at the rest of the islanders. He might not have kissed me, but he is my partner and he's a great mate. She leans in and pecks Jamal on the cheek, making a comical smooch sound as she does. This is kind of boring because everybody's kissing people on the cheek. It's not really... <laughs> but I get, I guess, you know? Thanks, Bella. Now, which one of you deserves a lifetime of marital bliss with Ma? Bella looks the islanders up and down. It has to be Erica. She walks over and gets down on one knee in front of you. What can I say? I know I'm not the one for you, Erica, but I still think you'd make a better wife than anyone else here. She takes her hand and places the ring on your finger. Give a friendly thanks. Thanks, Bella. That was nice. You might not be the wife for me, but you'll be perfect for someone else. Aw, thanks, Erica. Bella stands back up. Moving on, Bella walks over and picks up a pie. 
Who deserves a good pie? Bella walks up and down, waving the pie under the noses of the Islanders. How about Jamal? He didn't even kiss his partner. Or maybe one of the other boys? Bella turns to Flo. Then again, a little healthy competition is always fun. Bella playfully presses the creamy pie into Flo's face. If it's competition you want, Flo wipes a bit of cream off her chin and flicks it at Bella. It's competition you'll get. Enough messing, girls. It's my turn now. He looks at all of the girls before stopping in front of Grace. May I? Of course. Roberto leans in and locks lips with Grace. She throws her hands around his neck and pulls him closer. The kiss is fun and outrageous. Wow, Grace, that was something. My kisses always are. Yeah, I can confirm that. Roberto then walks over to Flo. He gets down on one knee. Flo, I know we've not known each other for very long, but you've livened things up for sure. And you're the only girl that I've been coupled with that I'd like to marry. I wouldn't have wanted to marry you either, Roberto. He slips the ring onto Flo's finger. Well, you've certainly moved fast. Not sure I want to be tied down just yet, though. Flo looks over at you and smiles. And now, the fun part. Roberto picks up a pie before striding cockily in front of the girls. He stops in front of you. Erica, you're always at the heart of everything. Sometimes things that I've not vibed with, so... He slaps the pie into your face. That was a bit harsh. Yeah, don't be so petty, Roberto. Erica's done nothing wrong. Bro, you throw more shade than an eclipse. What things are you even talking about? You're out of order, Roberto. If someone deserves a pie in here, it's you, not Erica. Why don't you pie yourself next time? Maybe I should have pied you. I'd rather you had instead of Erica. Calm down, just having some fun. Just wait for my turn. Just wait for my turn coming up. Something tells me you just became my first choice, which is the only thing you're my first choice for. Yes, Erica. Ouch. Well, I fancy a go now, and I won't be returning that kiss. Let's start this with a bit of fun, shall we? She sashays along the line of excited boys before stopping at Toby. Let's see what you've got then. Toby's eyes light up as Grace leans in. Their lips lock together in a hot and heavy snog. Ozzy looks away as the snog goes on a little longer. The others are speechless as they pull away, grinning ear to ear. Not bad at all. That was a treat. I know. Which one of you gets my ring? Grace looks at the boys. You know what? Nah. She turns to Bella. I don't think any of the boys deserve it. Grace gets down on one knee. Bella has been a huge part of my summer. From day one to whatever day this is. She deserves to be super happy. Grace places the ring on Bella's finger. Oh, Grace, I don't know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Grace throws her arms around Bella and the two of them laugh. And now onto the serious business of a pie to the face. She picks up a pie and struts about in front of the boys. I can think of a few people that might deserve a pie for a few different reasons. But this boy takes the cake, or in this case, the pie. Grace slaps the pie into Ozzy's face. Really, Grace? Grace starts to laugh. Ozzy looks at her for a moment, then a smile starts to appear on his lips. And suddenly, he joins in with the laughter. I suppose this is probably going to happen at some point. We couldn't go on for much longer as we were, could we? Nope, it's time we brought some fun back. Is this what you two snick off to talk about earlier? Yeah, we figured that any beef or drama is not a good thing for anyone. So we decided to put it all aside. Does this mean you two are finished? So are you two saying that you're separating? I suppose we'll just see how things go. Keep it chill from now on. Good to know. Good to know. Me next. I've been waiting for this. He looks around at the girls. Grace, I think you're awesome and a great friend to us all. He kisses her gently on the cheek. Glad you think so. Saying that, there's only one girl here that I could consider marrying. He walks over to you and gets down on one knee. Erica, you really are the full package. And I'm loving this journey we're on together. You've obviously got a way to go. But being coupled up with you could just be the first step. 
but taking the next steps will be great too. So cute. That was adorable. Thanks, Andy. I really appreciate that. I meant it. Andy gently slips the ring onto your finger. He softly caresses your hand as he looks into your eyes. Andy walks away from you and picks up a pie. He walks past all of the islanders eyeing them up. I'm pieing this person because they haven't treated their partner right. They need to do the right thing by them and everyone and not string people along. Andy stops in front of Ozzy. Sorry, bro. He slaps the pie into Ozzy's face. I guess I deserve that. What a day. My turn, finally. Flo excitedly looks around at the others. Who's the lucky person there? Flo walks up to you. Erica, what do you say? She leans in for a kiss. Snog Flo. I say kiss me. You lean in and Flo's soft, plump lips meet yours. She closes her eyes and her arms rest on your shoulders as you kiss. Flo gently runs her fingers through your hair. You pull her in closer as the kiss intensifies. She tilts her head slowly as you feel her mouth smiling in the moment. She pulls away and looks you in the eyes. I definitely made the right choice. Flo looks around at the others. Who to marry? So, Roberto. Flo walks over to Roberto. She gets down on one knee. I suppose you are my partner. Might need a prenup though. And now for my sweet finale. Flo picks up a pie and teasingly walks in front of the group. She stops at Toby, smiles, and slaps the pie into his face. Hey, what did I do? You stole my thunder. I wanted to be the bombshell for a bit longer. Toby and Flo laugh together. You'll always be a bombshell, Flo. I know. I might look a bit of a state right now, but a kiss with me would still be a treat. He walks confidently over to Amelia. He leans in and cups her face gently with his hands. I've been thinking about this since I saw you. And that first date left my head spinning. Amelia pulls Toby close as they snog passionately. Their eyes close as the kiss seems to go on forever. Marshall looks awkwardly down at his feet. Talk about flutters. Toby smiles before getting down on one knee. Mate, you're supposed to snog and marry different people. Sometimes you have to break a couple rules in the name of romance. Amelia, I'm new and I don't have that long life to make my mark. I hope I've made a similar impression to the one you made on me. Toby slides the ring onto Amelia's finger. You've still got a way to go before I'm fully impressed. But you made a good start. Amelia throws her arms around Toby's shoulders and gives him a kiss. Toby walks over and picks up a pie. Who gets this? He walks up to Roberto and slaps the pie into his face. Bro, seriously? I'm just not sure how much I can trust you. And I'm kind of jealous of the time you got to spend with Amelia. Even if you didn't appreciate it like you should have. I'm hoping we can make up for lost time. Looks like it's your turn, Erica. Yeah, who are you going to kiss? Hmm, I've been thinking about this the whole time as it's been going on. <laughs> At first, I was going to pick Flo, but then she picked me. So, hmm, I like how the new boy is not even on here. Um, I wouldn't kiss him, but I'm just saying. You know what? Let's go. Let's go with Ozzy. You walk over to Ozzy. Snog him. Looks like it's your lucky day. You lean in and your lips meet. You feel his hands around your waist as you embrace. His lips are soft and firm. His eyes close as the islanders go silent. You can feel Grace's gaze on you as she watches in shock. You feel like you could do this forever, completely lost in the moment. Then you pull away and look into each other's eyes. The luckiest. Time to tie the knot, Erica. Which lucky islander deserves a lifetime of happiness? Jamal. You walk over to Jamal and get down on one knee. I'd like to marry Jamal. We were partnered up before, so why not again? We could get married at a skate park. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're right, probably should think of more romantic places. I'm really happy that we're getting back on track. After Elliot coupling up with you, I feared we might be done. There's no one else I'd want to marry. It's nice to know you feel the same, Erica. You slide the ring onto its finger. Love that, Erica. I do. You get back up onto your feet. Time for some just desserts. You 
pick up a pie and look around at the rest of the islanders. Now, who's getting a face full of cream? How they don't got Roberto on the list? That's mad corny. We can't even get him back. I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to Marshall, I guess, because Roberto's not on the list. So I'm gonna just go with Marshall. You walk over to Marshall and slap the pie into his face. Have a pie, Marshall. What was that for? For causing drama. Sorry, but you've had this coming. The cream slowly drips and falls off his face onto the floor. What did I do? How long have you got? Constantly bickering with your brother and causing drama? Flirting with me and then moving on to Amelia? Burning toast? Okay, I'll take that on the shin. That pie sounds well deserved to be honest. Marshall cleans himself up, putting on a brave face. Just me and you left, bro. Yep, but who's going first? Me. First the worst, bro. Amelia leans in and whispers to you. This is the perfect time. For what? For rebuilding the bridge between Ozzy and Marshall. Of course, let's do it. I'm thinking we get them to pie each other for a laugh. It sounds silly, but it might just break the tension. Perfect. Amelia calls over to Marshall. Marshall. What's up, Amelia? Oh, I was just thinking that maybe you and Ozzy made the most of this. Make the most of what? Make the most of the game by pieing each other. It'll be fun. And it'll be entertaining for the rest of us. Come on, a bit of fun is what you two need. Exactly. We'll see. Not sure if that worked, let's find out. Time to bring some style to this game. Marshall jogs over to Amelia. He takes her in his arms and leans her backwards, dramatically and showy style. They share a hot and steamy kiss. Gotta go all out sometimes. Now, who gets to grow old and gray with me? He looks around at the girls. Marshall walks over to Bella. He gets down on one knee. Bella, will you make my hopelessly hollow life complete? Bella laughs and accepts the ring. Sure, why not? Phew, thought I might just get jilted with that one. Marshall walks away and picks up a pie. He turns to Ozzy. Wow, what a surprise. Marshall reaches over to the table and picks up another pie. Two pies? Going all out, are we? Marshall and Ozzy stare at each other for a moment. The other islanders remain in tense silence when suddenly, Marshall holds one of the pies out for Ozzy to take. Come on, bro, let's have some fun. Ozzy looks at Marshall a little longer before taking the pie and smiling. I'm not gonna hold back. I wouldn't expect you to. Marshall and Ozzy each slap their pies into each other's faces. They hug and laugh as they rub the pie cream all over each other. Steady on, bro. You nearly knocked me over. Don't worry, I'd have picked you up. Amelia whispers to you. Looks like my plan might have worked. Thanks for the assist, Erica. No problem. Well, I guess I've used my pie, but I've still got a snog and a Mary. Ozzy looks around at the girls. He walks over to Grace. Grace, you really are an amazing girl. And I really am sorry for not being the perfect partner for you. But I'm glad we've talked and sorted things between us. He leans in and gives Grace a gentle, respectful kiss on her cheek. Nice to clear the air. I agree. Right, marriage time. Ozzy looks around at the girls. He walks over to you and gets down on one knee. I know I might not be your number one, but I still think you'd be an absolutely amazing person to spend a life with. What do you say? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Yes, yes, yes. I guess I saw this coming. Ozzy smiles as he slips the ring on your finger. You made me a very happy man. And that's that. I kind of didn't want it to end. Yeah, I never want the challenges to end. Maybe this one doesn't have to. Amelia walks over to the table and picks up the one remaining pie. She holds it out for you to take. Want to take the last pie? Cream someone you missed? Maybe it's time to get your own back on Roberto. Give me that pie. Oh, for sure. I'll always say yes to another pie. You take the pie from Amelia, a devilish look in your eye. Knew you would. Who's it gonna be, a boy or a girl? Boy. A boy's getting a pie. Roberto. You walk over to Roberto, one hand on your hip while the other balances the pie. It has to be Roberto. What did I do? 
for pieing me. You literally just pied me. I just did what felt right in the moment. Well, this feels right to me. Fine, give it to me. Make a joke of it. Roberto smiles, putting his hands up and mock surrender. The other islanders enjoy the show. Are you sure you want to do this, Erica? Ozzy looks like he could do with more cream on his face. Not cool, man. Take the pie. Fine, I can take it. Flo, watch how well I can take it. You chuck the pie in his face, letting it cover him. He turns to Flo and shows her. She rolls her eyes at him. Easy peasy. Oh, really? Chase with pie. You chase Roberto as he runs from you, giggling as you try to catch him. Okay, okay, I give up. He quickly turns and takes the room of pie and chases you. You hide behind the others. He accidentally drops the pie on the floor. You look at each other, a standoff. He holds his hands up and surrender. Truce. No truce. You pick up the remaining cream and splatter in his face. That felt good. You look good, girl. Hey, that's my line. You can always say it again. I'll say it every day because it's true. I know. What did I start? Get a room. Well, if that's all the pies, I think we need to wash this off. Someone check Amelia isn't hiding a pie. Amelia holds her hands up. That was the last of them, I promise. Your phone pings and you read out the text. Islanders, the challenge is over. Time to wash up. Hashtag clean conscience. Hashtag fresh start. Let's go for a quick talk, bro. Yeah, long overdue. Can I just grab you two for a sec too? Sure. Let's go over to the day beds. You sit down on the edge of the day beds with Grace and Amelia. That went far better than it could have. Looked like that talk you and Ozzy had really made a difference. Yeah, we washed it all out and squashed a lot of stuff. We're all good. Just so I'm clear, does that mean that you're together still? I suppose you could call it a break. Although it did still sting a bit when he married you, Erica. But I get it. Who knows how it's all gonna play out. Get back to me on that a little closer to the final. She smiles. But yeah, I feel better. Things will be more chill now. But enough about me. What about you and Toby? He defo only had eyes for you in that challenge. I wasn't lying about those flutters when he kissed me. And then he married me as well? I didn't want to let on too much to him. But I'll admit to you girls now that I went proper weak at the knees. I know I shouldn't get carried away, but I can't help it. Erica, what do you think of me and Toby? You should go all in. You and Toby might be perfect for each other. You should just dive in head first and see how it goes. So great that you think that, Erica. It really means a lot. I think there's something there with me and him. What about you and Marshall then, Amelia? Well, you both know things haven't been going great recently. Let's just say my head has been turned. Anyway, you lick a bit of cream off your finger. I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Can't stay like this forever. Yeah, not your best look. Although, in a way, kind of delicious. See you in a bit, Erica. You leave the girls and head in towards the shower. You arrive at the bathroom to the sound of water running and steam rising all around. Hey, Erica, I was just about to freshen up. He smiles at you seductively. Want to join me? Join him for sexy shower fun. Sure, let's get steamy. You step into the shower and stand beside Jamal. He rubs his chest as the warm water runs down it. This is so naughty. You move close to Jamal, stepping into his arms. He holds you and smiles as the water cascades around you both. So, how far do you want to take this? Let's do bits. I'm feeling like taking it further, but not all the way. You read my mind. You step forward beneath the falling water and throw your arms around Jamal. Your hands explore his wet body. You feel the ripples of his muscle tense as you move down from his shoulders to his chest to his abdomen. You slide your hand beneath his shorts and hear him moan as you move your hands over him. You allow him to explore your body with his soft fingers, first over your clothing and then beneath. The two of you kiss intensely as your hands bring a shared pleasure to a climax. Right? The two of you hold each other tight for a moment as the water continues to fall around you. That was amazing, Erica. It really was. We should probably get back to the others. They'll wonder where we are. The two of you towel each other dry. 
I can't believe that just happened. Me neither. You head for the bedroom, a naughty tension hanging between you. You enter the bedroom to find the other islanders chilling out post-challenge. That was exhausting, to be fair. Worth it, though. Amelia waves you over to her bed. You sit down beside her. You're looking refreshed. Enjoy your shower. Give Amelia the deets. I did. I jumped in the shower with Jamal for some sexy fun. Really? Wow, what did you do? We did bits. What? Amelia tries to keep her voice down. This is amazing. The sounds of the other islanders chatting fills the room. Amelia nudges you on the arm. You want to go for a more private chat on the terrace? A chat about what? Well, maybe you'd like to talk about Jamal? And what you and him getting closer could mean for the rest of us? I mean, choosing to marry Jamal, that's a big deal. Do you want some sister advice on it? Plus, I've got a secret for your ears only. Oh, really? Yeah, want to sneak off for a chat? I mean, it sucks that we have to pay for this, but I'm going to go ahead because I want to talk to my sister. <laughs> Okay, sure, let me hear your advice. Great, let's sneak off while everyone's busy chatting. You and Amelia quietly head out to the terrace. You and Amelia step out onto the roof terrace. This is big news, Erica. Marrying Jamal and then spending some sexy time with him in the shower? I kind of feel like you've taken the next step. I know it was only in a challenge, but you still pick them over anyone else. You two have had a connection since before Casa Amor, so I can see why you chose to marry him. My advice would be to go for it. Go for it? Yeah, dive in head first. No matter what has happened between the two of you up until this point, you picked him to marry for a reason. And maybe that says a lot about your relationship to him. You hear the sounds of the other islanders talking in the bedroom. I love moments like this. Just getting to spend a little alone time together, chatting and confiding in each other. Amelia smiles mischievously at you. To be honest, I didn't just bring you out here to give you advice. I had something else to tell you. Oh yeah, your secret, spill. I feel a bit silly saying it, but what? I think I'm really falling for Toby. Yeah, I know this already. I told you to go all in. Yeah, but what you don't know is that we shared a secret kiss. A secret kiss? Where? When? I was making a snack in the kitchen and he appeared. He asked me if I needed any help, so obviously I said yes, even though I could manage making a sandwich without his help. Our chat quickly went from food to flirting. I did the classic lick a bit of mayo off my finger, and then it just happened. It was perfect. I can't get him out of my head. I'm not sure there's much room left for Marshall anymore. You hear a text ring out from the bedroom. Was that a text? Sounded like one. The door to the terrace swings open. Toby steps out holding his phone. I've got a text. The rest of the islanders crowd out onto the terrace behind him. What's it say, Toby? Toby reads out the text. Islanders, tonight two islanders will be dumped from the villa, one girl and one boy. Oh no. Toby continues to read. The girls will choose which boy to dump and the boys will choose which girl to dump. Hashtag double dump, hashtag to dump or not to dump. The islanders look around at each other in utter shock. Just when I thought the pieing had finished. Now the islanders get to dish out one final pie, which will send two of them home. Let's just hope the airport sniffer door doesn't have a sweet tooth, or they'll be taken into custody. I'm here all night, people, but which islander won't be? Find out next time on Love Island. Alright, so that was episode 32. So... We did snog Mary Pie. Um, I think, let's see if I can remember who decided to marry me. It was Ozzy, Jamal, Andy. I think it was Bella. Was it Bella also? I think so. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so everybody did snog Mary Pie. I'm not going to run through everybody's decision. But my sister, we're going to talk about her. So Toby decided to snog her and marry her. So that was nice. He was the only boy to do it. So he really made it out there that he only has eyes for her. And she confided in me and told me that she's really falling for him. And, you know, Marshall is just not in the picture anymore. So I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she's finding that connection. So good for her. Good for my sister. Marshall, oh, well, 
<laughs> you you did this to yourself. Um, Ozzy, I married. I chose to marry Jamal, but I chose to snog Ozzy. Ozzy decided to kiss Grace on the cheek and marry me. Um, Grace and Ozzy both let us let us all know that they're taking a break, basically. So yeah, that's that's good to know. So that means hopefully Ozzy will be trying to chat to me more or I could chat to him more, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, that was Love Out in the Game, Double Trouble, episode 32. Don't forget to like, oh yeah, and we found out that we're going to have a dumping. One boy and one girl is being dumped. So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 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 join the fam, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.